Hey guys, what's up? So today I just wanted to come on and talk to you all about talk to y'all about what it's like being a guard. I'm also gonna give y'all a brief tour of my guard station. So stick around and let's have a little fun. Like I say, this is it right here. You know, it's nothing fancy, your basic guard building. Let's head on the inside. Let's see what we have on the inside. Hey y'all. All right, y'all, so as you can see, we have a nice size office here. Nothing, nothing fancy. Um, have a little water station over here, microwave, we have a little radio station. This is pretty much our outside office area. Actually here at my location, I only go inside of the main building when it's necessary. Let's plug the radio up, y'all. Let's see what they playing on the radio. Uh-oh. <laughs> They're cutting up on the radio now. Knowing the people who you work with, knowing those people and having a good relationship with them really helps with the job. Like I say, if I have a problem, I know who to call. So just little things like that, you'll slowly start to pick up over time. I'm limited to what I can show you, but I am going to show you as much as I possibly can. I want you to get a good feel of what it's like being a security guard. Oh yeah, I can show y'all our... This is our contract and visitor log. Pretty much, this is where we keep track of everyone that enters the facility. Let's see if I can get my camera to focus in. So basically, basically when we get a visitor or a contractor, when you come through this gate, I will issue a badge number. I will get the time that you come through. I'll get your name. I'll get the ID number that's on your license or whatever type of ID you have. The company that you're with, the type of vehicle that you're in, name and location of the host. And that's pretty much whatever department that you're entering into, you know, once you get onto the property. Last but not least, my initials. And as you can see, we haven't had any traffic today. Today is a Saturday. On Saturdays, we're pretty much normally slow. We don't have a lot of traffic. Yeah, like I say, nothing fancy, you know what I mean? Just your basic guard building. We don't have central air in here, so AC unit. I have my fan on right now. And if you look back here in the back, that's the port john y'all. If you gotta use the bathroom, that's where you gotta go. All right, y'all, this is my desk, like a little paper rack, where we keep up with our paperwork. Certain papers have to go to certain people at the end of each day, so, you know, this is pretty much how we keep it organized and yada, yada, yada. So we have a little charging port here. This is my radio, ink pen, stapler, telephone. I had to cut the monitor off, y'all, because of course I can't let y'all see that. Well, let's zoom it back now. Let's see if I can get some type of focus going on. This is my uh, this is my DAR daily activity report. This is pretty much where I keep track of everything that happens on the shift, anything out of the normal. The log the sheet once an hour and turn it in at the end of each shift so normally on my DAR normally I log you know what time I leave for a round what time I return all right y'all let's head outside let's check out the outside area and let's see what we have going on out here so my primary function here at work is to observe and report what's going on I am a unarmed guard, so anything, anything that may require any weaponry, um, I would just notify our law enforcement, and it would be, you know, it would be up to them how they want to handle the situation. But um, like I say, this is my first time doing a video like this, and so I'm pretty much just winging it. So you know, if I've missed anything, you know, if you have any questions about anything, and you want, you want an answer. Like I said, I've been doing this job for seven years. If I can't give you the exact answer, I should be able to kind of point you in the di right direction. One thing I did forget to touch on is pay. Now, I'm in a small rural type area, so like, I'm pretty sure that if I were like in like a big city, I would probably make two or three dollars more. But um, 
Like I say, if you have any questions, man, definitely, definitely please hit me up. I'll be honored to answer. I think that's pretty much it, y'all. I'm out. Matter of fact, matter of fact, one last thing before I end the video. If you're going to be doing a lot of walking, y'all, get you some good shoes. Because that's going to make the job a lot easier.